Hello po! Welcome back to my channel, mga mom at sir, mga estudyante at mga parents. Problema po ng DepEd, yung mga batang nagtatransfer from private schools to public schools. Unang problema ay karamihan sa kanila ay may mga unsettled accounts sa private schools. So ano ba ang gagawin ng mga teachers at ng mga parents para ma-transfer yung bata officially sa public schools. Meron pong inilabas na dipid order para dito. Ito po yung nakasaad. From dipid order number 35 series of 2022, transferred out from private school with unsettled financial obligation. For learners who move transferred out from private schools but still have outstanding financial obligations, the receiving public school is instructed to accommodate the learner and assess the parents in execution of an affidavit of undertaking, which will be shared in the last part of this video. As stipulated in DPIT Order No. 03 Series of 2018, the originating private school within 30 calendar days upon receipt of electronic notification of transfer to LIS portal tracking or transfer facility is requested to review the validity of the request and take required action by confirming the transfer request and clicking the unsettled account checkbox to tag or mark in the system that the learner is just temporarily enrolled in the current school consistent with Section 5 the C of DPID Order No. 03 Series of 2018, which states that such learners shall be required to submit an affidavit of undertaking signed by parent or guardian in order to be temporarily enrolled. To ensure timely and accurate reporting of learners' movement from one school to another, the Division LIA System Administrator of the Division Planning Officer is reminded to monitor compliance of private and public schools concerned and maintain proper utilization of LIA's particularly the tracking system which is intended to monitor the physical transfer of learners. Any malicious intent misutilization of LIA's tracking system that result in delays or impending transfer transactions between schools shall be reported to the Office of the Schools Division Superintendent for appropriate actions. In relation to the order number 14 series of 2016, 